most people in America are familiar with what sexual assault is in terms of someone having intercourse with someone else without their consent or someone doing something else to them, kissing them or groping them without their proper consent or permission and that's considered oftentimes sexual misconduct when it's done by someone in a position of power. It's also called sexual harassment when there is some sort of groping, some sort of petting, some sort of inappropriate comment, but let's talk about sexual assault. There's also sexual assault that is molestation in which someone commandeers someone, takes them somewhere and actually tries to rearrange them either in their internal organs and how they function or in their extern external loins, which I hate to mention, is none of someone's business. And openly, if they clip something to not allow the insertion of something, then that is considered mutilation. If they cut someone's hair off, that is also considered a form of mutilation because sexual or secondary sex characteristics belong to the individual not some group of nurses, not some group of doctors, and not some medical organization that wants to change the way that the Lord makes people. And openly, when you fail to deliver some sort of medication to someone, you failed God's house. You lied to yourself about your rights to remove someone's lawful rights to medications that you allude and that you stated were prescribed for that person. So you just committed a medical misconduct on your life. And you can and will lose your license for this.